from the book of Tehillim, Psalms. Psalm 69, for the chief musician set to Shoshanim, belonging to Dawid. Save me, O God, for the waters are come as far as Seoul. I sink in deep mire, where there is no standing. I am come into deep waters, where the floods overflow me. I am weary with my crying. My throat is dried. My eyes fail while I wait for my God. They that hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of my head. They that would cut me off, being my enemies wrongfully, are mighty. That which I took not away I have to restore. O God, thou knowest my foolishness, and my sins are not hid from thee. Let not them that wait for thee be put to shame through me, O Lord Yahweh of hosts. Let not those that seek thee be brought to dishonor through me, O God of Yisrael, because for thy sake I have borne reproach. Shame hath covered my face. I am become a stranger to my brothers and a foreigner to the sons of my mother. For the zeal of thy house hath eaten me up, and the reproaches of them that reproach thee are fallen upon me. When I wept and chastened my soul with fasting, that was to my reproach. When I made sackcloth my clothing, I became a byword to them. They that sit in the gate talk of me, and I am the song of the drunkards. But as for me, my prayer is to thee, O Yahweh, in an acceptable time, O God, in the abundance of thy loyal ardor, Answer me in the truth of thy salvation. Deliver me out of the mire, and let me not sink. Let me be delivered from them that hate me, and out of the deep waters. Let not the water flood overwhelm me, neither let the deep swallow me up, and let not the pit shut its mouth upon me. Answer me, O Yahweh, for thy loyal ardor is good. According to the multitude of thy tender mercies, turn thou to me, and hide not thy face from thy servant, for I am in distress. Answer me speedily. Draw near to my soul and redeem it. Ransom me because of my enemies. Thou knowest my reproach, and my shame, and my dishonor. My adversaries are all before thee. Reproach hath broken my heart, and I am full of heaviness, and I looked for some to take pity, but there was none, and for comforters, but I found none. They gave me also gall for my food, and in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Let their table before them become a snare, and when they are in peace, let it become a trap. Let their eyes be darkened so that they cannot see, and make their loins continually to shake. Pour out thy indignation upon them, and let the fierceness of thy anger overtake them. Let their habitation be desolate, let none dwell in their tents." For they persecuted him whom thou hast smitten, and they tell of the sorrow of those whom thou hast wounded. Add iniquity to their iniquity, and let them not come into thy righteousness. Let them be blotted out of the book of life, and not be written with the righteous." But I am poor and sorrowful. Let thy salvation, O God, set me up on high. I will praise the name of God with a song and will magnify him with thanksgiving. 
and it will please Yahweh better than an ox or a bullock that hath horns and hoofs. The meek have seen it and are glad. Ye that seek after God, let your heart live. For Yahweh heareth the needy, and despiseth not his prisoners. Let skies and earth praise him, the seas and everything that moveth therein. For God will save Eon, and build the cities of Yehudah, and they shall abide there, and have it in possession. The seed also of his servants shall inherit it, and they that love his name shall dwell therein.